All right. Hold on to your hat. We're about to get fancy. We're about to get professional. So check this out. Let's say you want to mix uh, a little more, a little more uh, intricately. Let's say I've got the same narration here that I did in the basic mixing video. And then I also have my song here, but I want my song to kind of fade in. And then at the end of my narration that I want it to fade up so that it's full volume. So I get this nice, clean pacing. Uh, there's no dead air. That's what we call blank space in your recording. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on these little uh, these dots connected by lines. It says show hide automations. If I click on that and then I click on the automation button that comes up, I can click on volume. So I'm going to get this line right here. Now, if the volume is centered on that the whole time, then what we're going to get is a consistent volume. But if I click on a spot, it's going to create this little, uh, this little nub that I can move around. So I want the song to fade in from nothing. So I'm going to bring it down at the start. And I want it to fade in kind of gradually. So I'm going to click a few seconds over. That's almost 10 seconds. And I'm going to click there again. Once I create that nub, I can bring it up a little bit. I could even move it to the right or to the left. You can just kind of click and drag wherever. Now, I still don't want my voice to be overpowered by the song, so I'm not going to bring it up too much, but it's going to a little bit more smoothly come into my track here. Now, a little bit further down where my track's about to end, I'm going to click on another one to create another nub, and then I'm going to click on one for where it's going to be at full volume, and then I'm going to bring that all the way up. So now, instead of my volume being at the same, uh, same level for the entire piece, it's going to start out real quiet, it's going to fade in, and then it's going to level out and stay the same for quite a while, and then at the end it's going to fade up. So I want you to listen to that and hear how that's different. Once a band or artist is done tracking and overdubbing the parts of a song, an engineer will mix it. This is the time when all the levels of the individual parts, meaning the instrumentals, the vocals, etc., are adjusted up and down to find the perfect mix. Reverb may be added where necessary. Vocals might be compressed if they want them to pop out at certain points. Bum notes might be muted. Mixing is essential. Getting the right mix can make or break a song. You don't want everything loud. You don't want everything soft. Some parts you want quiet and others you want to pop. You want to be able to hear everything cohesively as one complete piece while also being able to discern the individual parts and create a ride through the song that carries the listener through varying ups and downs. Means and outs. All right, so when playing that, I think I'm, I'm going to hold off on the... Uh bring it all the way up because I think I lost some of that last uh, syllable in there. And I think I can bring the volume up just a wee bit on the, uh, the whole thing. Uh, but that was a little bit fancy. Maybe you don't get to this in your podcast and that's okay. Uh, but if you do get to this point, this is where it can sound really professional. So I would challenge you uh, to try to do something along these lines if you have the time.